Hello friends. You're on the last day's channel. Thank you so much for your engagement and support. And so, a review of events for November 14th and 15th. Sicily, Italy. In Italy and Sicily, the volcano Etna is erupting, as reported by local TV channels. The eruption occurred in the southeastern crater, the height of the eruptive column was about 4.5 thousand meters above sea level. At night, many tourists heard a strong rumble and did not even realize what was happening. Such a powerful eruption has never been here before. Volcanic ash covered two settlements, the towns of Jar and Riposto. The authorities did not have to close the local airport, but residents are asked not to leave their homes and do not approach the volcano. Now Etna is gradually reducing its activity, but it is quite possible that it will start erupting again. Alps, France in November, snowfalls began in the Alps in France. Snow has already covered the French resorts of Les Arcs and Val Torrance. The depth of snow sometimes reaches 150 centimeters. Powerful snowfall left almost 50,000 residential houses without electricity. Because of the snow wires collapsed, because of which there is no electricity in the homes of the departments of Upper Savoy, Isère, and Savoy. It is impossible to get to the affected areas because of blocked roads. In some places it is still snowing. Ireland The Irish Meteorological Service is warning of potential danger to life due to the strong wind gusts brought by Storm Debbie. More than 100,000 homes and businesses have been left without power, while bus and rail services have been disrupted. A red alert level has been declared in 10 of 32 counties, and schools and preschools will be closed until the red and orange alert levels are lifted. Wind gusts of up to 31 meters per second and falling trees have been reported on roads in various parts of the country. The Irish Meteorological Service predicts that the storm will pass sharply and quickly and advises the public to wait it out at home if possible. Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky, Russia. On Tuesday, November 14, the main department of the Ministry of Emergency Situations in Kamchatka region reported about the earthquake with magnitude 5.2, which occurred near the coast of Kamchatka. The epicenter of the earthquake was located just 85 kilometers southeast of Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky. There were also reports of tremors from Vilyachinsky Urban District and several settlements of Yelizovsky District. There was no information about casualties or tsunami threat in the region. Chapico, Brazil A powerful fire occurred in the city of Chapico in Brazil. The incident happened at a fuel storage plant. During the refueling of one of the tanks burst into flames, and up went a huge column of fire. Employees of the enterprise were immediately evacuated. Some eyewitnesses claim to have heard explosions. Thick black smoke and acrid smell of burning spread to other regions. Twenty fire brigades are fighting the blaze, but the column of flames is still rising high into the sky. A highway has been temporarily closed in the affected area. 
residents are asked not to leave their homes and to close windows tightly. All the reasons for the incident are yet to be clarified. Iceland In Iceland in the coming days may be a volcanic eruption. This is evidenced by a series of earthquakes and the rapid spread of magma underground. The Icelandic Meteorological Office said that the eruption could start at any time in the next few days. The risk of an eruption on or near the Reykjanes Peninsula has increased due to the size of the underground magma intrusion and the speed of its movement. All residents of the fishing town of Grindavik, which has a population of about 3,000, have been called to evacuate. The Rake Janes region has experienced several eruptions in recent years. The Weather Bureau predicts that the latest eruption will occur southwest of Grindavik. Johannesburg, South Africa South Africa was hit by a thunderstorm that brought golf ball-sized hail. Residents around Johannesburg experienced an infernal phenomenon that caused damage to some homes and cars. In the Madran neighborhood, several cars lost their windshields. The storm lasted for several minutes and ended with heavy downpour that flooded the streets. Fortunately, there were no reports of fatalities or injuries. Repair workers are now busy dealing with the aftermath of the storm. Real Islands. According to the press service of the Sakhalin Region Emergency Situations Ministry, on Wednesday afternoon at the Abiko Volcano, located on the North Kareel Island of Paramusher, there was recorded an ash emission at a height of 3 kilometers above sea level. The ash plume stretched eastward for a distance of more than 5 kilometers. Despite this, in the city of Severo Kirilsk ashfall was not observed and the odor of hydrogen sulfide was not felt. There is no threat for vital activity of the population. Scientists believe that a lava eruption of Ibiko is unlikely, as it belongs to ancient extinct volcanoes. However, Ibiko has an orange color code of danger for aviation. Pas de Calais, France In the north of France, the aftermath of the massive floods that began last week in the department of Pas-de-Calais continues to be dealt with. Rescue services are underway. An orange alert has been declared in the region due to the rains and possible flooding. Schools and kindergartens were closed in 279 communes in the department. The streets of many towns were flooded, as were the basements of houses. Rivers overflowed their banks. According to forecasters, a slight lull is expected over the weekend, but the rains could resume as early as next week. French National Meteorological Service Matteo France said that the last four weeks have seen a record 215.4 mm of rainfall for France. The previous record, set in 1993, was 196.9 mm of rainfall.
China. A cold wave caused by a frost cyclone hit northern cities and caused transportation chaos. Many roads became impassable and airports were forced to close. Nevertheless, some passengers decided not to put their plans on hold and went in search of other ways to reach their destinations. Some of them even took the opportunity to visit ski resorts that had sprung up on the frozen runways. United States The USA has set a new record for the number of major natural disasters. In the first eight months of this year, there were 23 natural disasters, the damage from which exceeded $1 billion. The total damage from natural disasters during this period amounted to $57.6 billion, and the number of deaths reached 253 people. In addition, experts note that this figure does not include damage from Tropical Storm Hillary in California and severe drought in the South and Midwest of the United States, as it has not yet been calculated. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has said that signs of climate change are visible across the country and the pace of these changes will not slow down anytime soon. Experts believe that the U.S. must take additional measures to adapt to the increased frequency of natural disasters, as the situation will only get worse. The climate has already changed, and neither the built environment nor response systems are keeping up with those changes, said Craig Fugate, former director of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Among the natural disasters that occurred in the U.S. this year were a deadly firestorm in Hawaii and storm surge due to Hurricane Idalia. The list also included hailstorms, severe storms and flooding that occurred across the U.S. in July and August. The department has been keeping track of natural disasters that cost a billion dollars or more since 1980, making adjustments for inflation. However, experts note that the situation with the increasing frequency of natural disasters requires more active actions on the part of the state.